Good morning, everyone. I'm Prophet Lou. Welcome to the Glory Room. I hope you all are having a blessed morning. Let's get started with prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, Father God, we thank you for saving our soul. We thank you for your grace and mercy. Father God, as we go through our day and we're reading your word, please give us understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, Father God. Father God, we ask you to help us to understand what you're trying to say. Help us to help us to convey it, Father God. Please, Father God, rather someone's read are listening to it, Father God, give us a deeper understanding. Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So today's key verse is Proverbs 28 and 14. Blessed are those who fear to do wrong, but the stubborn are headed for serious trouble. Subject, I'm heeding, not fleeing. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it. I am choosing God. I am bowing to my God. I'm content in my life. I'm not fleeing. It used to be a time when people were afraid to do wrong. It used to be when people didn't mock God, but now we have people mock God because they can. They mock him because they, they feel there's nothing he can do with, with what they are doing. And they don't even see him as God. They see him as a made up friend we rely on. And maybe that fear is lost because we as believers don't even believe and we don't even try to show that he is real. We talk all over him too. So how can they believe in God when we don't? How can they believe in God when we don't even show an ounce of fear? Proverbs 23 and 17, let not your heart envy sinners, but continue in the fear of the Lord all the day. Let not your heart or your mind get the best of you. We should envy nothing sinners get to do. And sometimes we might say, I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. Or I wonder why I can't do this or that. Because we are walkers of the light. We don't have to entertain things of the flesh. And yes, what they are doing might seem good and relaxing, even fun now. But what we have to understand, everything on earth will pass. Everything that seems like is worth the time and energy now won't be soon. Jesus is coming back and he's coming back like a thief in the night and no one knows the hour. And if we for one minute think we will look, he will look over the things we do in our private time. He won't. I want to tell you, friends, the things in this world isn't worth an eternity in hell. Psalms 112 and 20. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. We are blessed when we fear the Lord and when the delight in his commandments is happiness obeying him. When we obey the will of God and we heed to his call and his commands, we will find where our life is missing. Some of our lives feel empty and alone and we are confused and do not find joy and what we're doing now because we are living out of our will out of our will and not his Jonah sat in the bottom of a well for three nights and God held him there in the cold in the dark he allows him to see that what he was doing was cold and dark are you in the cold and dark are you heeding him or are you fleeing from him the other half of this verse says the stubborn is headed for serious trouble because when we are ignoring him we are saying we don't care what God says and what he asks of us we are going to keep going and doing what we see fit why? Because we are blinded and we do not see how this can cause us problems. We are just so attached and attracted to how this particular sin makes us feel. Feelings can cause us problems. Feelings can cause us to lose connection with God. Feelings can cause you to be in trouble because feelings makes us stubborn. Feelings makes us lose control and feelings makes us feel that in order to be happy, we must go against God. Happiness is temporary, but joy is forever ever today don't allow what others people desire to do wrong in your desire to join them make you an easy target for the enemy or to make you think you are wrong for living for christ you're not what is wrong is when we sit and we lose what we have with god over this world this world is quick to tell us to love who we want to do what we want to live free they say these things so that we can pick anything over God and we can't and we shouldn't we must pick and choose God every day the people of this world might look as as if they are winning but they aren't always choose God over this life prayer heavenly father we thank you for everything we thank you for giving us choice a choice who we will serve and we gladly choose you father help us to stand on you every day 
Help us to draw closer to you and not this world. Lord, give us strength not to bend the knee to sin, but to bow to you. Lord, we love you so much, and we thank you for sending your son here for us. We thank you for grace and mercy. We thank you for being who you are in our life. Lord, we love you, and we praise your holy name. Change us if we're going in the wrong direction. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Reference James 1, 22, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Psalm 78 and 10, they did not keep God's covenant, but refused to walk according to his law. Psalm 78 and 10, Ephesians 4, 18, they are darkened in the understanding, but being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardness of their heart. Ephesians 4, 18. Further reading, Nehemiah 3, 15 through 5 through 13. 1 Corinthians 7, 25 through 40. Psalms 32, 1 through 11 and Proverbs 21, 5 through 7. The further reading and the references at the bottom of this particular devotional. I'll pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Thank you for listening.